Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. Thank you as always for all of your wonderful support throughout this series, my friends. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if we can keep it up with a thousand likes per episode, that would be absolutely fantastic, my friends. But of course, if you want to go on further, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. So we're starting off today with a rematch against Skeletron with our squishy army. I'm pretty sure I could do a better job of it this time, my friends, because what I'm going to be doing this time is I'm actually going to go buy a pygmy necklace from the witch doctor when he eventually winds up spawning inside of the jungle biome. He's still residing somewhere around here at this point, but once we go to sleep and walk away from this area, he should spawn in the jungle biome and then we can get a pygmy necklace, have ourselves one more minion slot and basically allow ourselves to have six minions on us. So, pop it on over here. We can go ahead and grab our Cells. There it is. Increases max number of minions by one. Absolutely lovely. Now, of course, we can go ahead and reforge this bad boy. We're looking for... Yeah, okay. That'll do quite nicely. We will have that in place of the Magiluminescence here, my friendos. And eventually, once we get ourselves the Stinger Necklace, hopefully, I will probably put that in place of... I'm not actually entirely sure. Maybe the wings? So there we are. Got ourselves a bit of that. Got ourselves some major improvements to all stats and ladies and gentlemen what we should be able to do now is actually summon in for ourselves a three more squishies all right so zooming on out getting this stuff back on let's see how good of a job we could do this time i mean let's be honest the majority of the damage is going to be done when skeletron is down at the floor here come on squishies there we are yeah, you keep that damage going there, buddy. Oh, I just took a little bit of a big hit there. Oh, no, he's already starting to shoot out his skulls. Not cool. Not cool. All right, well, we got to do ourselves a decent job of trying to dodge here. No, come on. Oh, that's not a good way to start the episode. Early raging, man. Come on. I know I can do this. I know it. Ah. Screw you, Skeletron! Screw you! We've got four minutes to try and get ourselves a shark tooth necklace here, ladies and gentlemen. And they are gotten from the dripples and the blood zombies. So, yeah, the more those guys can spawn in, the better the chance we have of getting ourselves the shark tooth necklace. Once we have a shark tooth necklace, I feel like we'll be able to do a bit more damage against Skeletron. Why am I so focused on taking out Skeletron? Because we need the master mode drop for our completionist goal of getting all master mode exclusive drops, okay? And I'm just trying to figure out a fun way of doing it. I am absolutely 1,000% determined that I can go ahead and take out Skeletron with just a squishy army. I'm absolutely convinced of it, in fact. So, yeah, I'm going to keep going until it's done. Because, again, I just feel like it's a fun way to go. And as I have said since the start of this series, the primary focus of this series is to have as much fun as possible using weird and wonderful loadouts Things that I wouldn't usually use. The good news is, of course, we do indeed have ourselves a shark tooth necklace. So what that means is if we were to go ahead and grab ourselves out the honeycomb, we can make ourselves a very good offensive slash defensive accessory at the same time. There it is, the stinger necklace. There's also frog webbing here that we can make, apparently. Very, very interesting. Hey, we got ourselves a chum caster, ladies and gentlemen. A pretty good fishing rod for specifically doing blood moon fish. Fishing in. Kind of cool. All right, well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That's that blood moon taken out of the game. And there it is. The Stinger Necklace increases armor penetration by five. So basically, if any enemies have defense, then we basically do five flat additional damage to them. Releases bees and douses user in honey when damaged. This thing is going to be fantastic to use. And yeah, as you can see, the Chum Caster, as I said, it does a better job in the Blood Moon event because, as you can see, increased chance to fish up enemies during a Blood Moon. So if you want to go ahead and try to kill the Dread Nautilus, this thing is what you are going to want to use if you want to have a higher chance of it actually spawning in. Anyway, time to reforge ourselves the Stinger Necklace. Menacing or warding? Oh, there it is. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, the wings are coming off. The good news, of course, is even despite going ahead and putting away the fledgling wings, we do still have full damage completely negated by the horseshoe balloon here. So we don't have to worry about that. 
I mean, yeah, it does mean we lose a little bit of maneuverability in the air. But I don't think that's neither here nor there. I think we're totally fine here, my friends. I think we'll still be able to dodge Skeletron's attacks when it comes to it. So I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. While it is daytime here, I am actually going to do two things. We are going to do a fishing quest, of course. And then we're also going to head down to the underworld so we can begin on a little bit of a large hell bridge, okay? Ah, oh, darn it. I can't actually do that quest because we don't have a desert to fish in, ladies and gentlemen. That's a little bit unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, although, with that said, I wonder if I could combine these two water bodies together. I wonder if it's near enough to the desert to the point where I maybe could do that quest. Graham the Clothier has arrived. Well, hello there, my good sir. You are going to perish this coming night. I'm sorry, buddy. It's just how it's going to be. So, technically speaking, we are just above the surface level. So, here's the question. Can we get the scarab fish from fishing around here? Oh, look at that. We've got a flounder. And that is indeed something that is grabbed only from a desert by him. So, this is now, officially speaking, a desert lake that we could do a little bit of fishing in. Ah, oh, look at the little squishy army. They're so adorable bobbing around in the lake here. Look at them. They're having a whale of a time. <laughs> hey, there it is. Fantastic. We've actually got it. Ah, bait and potions again. Come on. So, for the hell bridge, we are going to use a block that cannot be overcome with any kind of evil. We've got mudstone. So, yeah, this should do the job. We are able to make just under two full stacks of this stuff. And I really, really hope that that is going to be enough to cover the entire underworld. Demon conch. Love the demon conch, my friends. Love every single thing about the demon conch. <laughs> All right, guys, it is time, let's see, about making ourselves a whopping great hell bridge because that is going to be by far our best attempt at surviving the wall of flesh with just the squishy army, all right? Oh, cool, we got a magma stone. Ha! Melee attacks inflict fire. Very nice. If we want to switch ourselves to a nice flaming melee loadout later, then we can. Cool. All right, my friends. So it is nearly night time, apparently. 6.45 p.m. 7.30, of course, would be the time in which it becomes night time. So we need to go ahead and get ourselves back up to the top for another Skeletron attempt here, my friendos. I am very, very determined to get this thing going and completed. All right. So, yeah, I'm not stopping. I am not giving up until Skeletron is dead by the hands of my little... Little slimy boys here. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit buffed up here. I'm actually going to buff up a little bit more than I usually would. We'll have ourselves a little bit of that. A little bit of iron skin. I think definitely regen would be a nice idea as well. All right. Buffing up. Let's make sure we have the tip top most amount of slimes that we can have. Graham, my good sir, you are going to perish. And we are now going to zoom out. And of course get our double jump back on here, ideally. There we are. Beautiful. All right, let's see what we can do here this time, my friendos. Yeah, we are slapping Skeletron around with a little squishy army. Okay, very, very cool. So far, so good in terms of health. I think the regen buffs are definitely helping here, which is lovely to see. We'll keep it up with the damage here. I need to take out the hands, ideally roughly at the same time. And then, oh, come on. And then we should be okay to just focus on the head here now, my friendos. So, once he starts doing his spinning attack, that is where we are going to be doing the damage. Yep, there we have it. Oh, my word. Yeah, not bad, my friends. Not bad. The Stinger Necklace, I feel, is really helping us with our damage out here, my friends. I'm actually very, very happy with how this is going so far. So down he comes again, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah. Just got to keep it going. We do have to be careful of those little skulls, though. It's especially the first one he shoots out immediately after stopping his spinning attack. That is the dangerous one, in my opinion. So, yeah. Just got to be careful, my friends. Just got to be careful. All right. More spinning. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And now we do the dodging. There we are. Okay. Not doing too bad, my friends. Not doing too bad. Come on. Oh, that star... Very, very almost hit Skeletron there. 
Can you imagine if that was the thing that finished this fight off? Hey, can you imagine if that was it? Oh my god, we got the freaking Chippy's couch. Hey! That's pretty cool, isn't it? But there we have it, my friends. Taking pride and place at the very center of my world here. Chippy's couch. Hey, love it. Love everything about it. All right, well, we're just about done with that fight. Let's get back to doing our underworld bridge making. So yeah, the squishy army. I told you, man. I told you. It is enough. It is enough to take down Skeletron. And I'm pretty darn convinced it will also be enough to take down the wall of flesh when it comes to it. So yeah, like I say, back down to the underworld. Let's continue on. Hey, guide voodoo doll. Fantastic. We were actually in need of that. And now we have one. So when it comes to us going ahead and getting this hell bridge complete, we could always, you know, give the wall of flesh a go. I mean, why not, man? Well, there's the cloth here again, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Skeletron fight to do on this coming night. Ah, oh, cool. Check it out, my friends. Perfect timing. It is about to become nighttime, and we have gotten one entire side of our world completely bridged over in the underworld. Ah, oh, cool. All right, well, uh, let's get ourselves home. Let's get ourselves prepped and squishy army versus Skeletron. Uh, fight number three. Oh, for goodness sake. We've got a blood moon this time as well. Well, why don't you go ahead and eat a poo, Terraria? What are you talking about? Giving me all of this poop. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's giving me another blood moon. I don't want a blood moon this time. I'd very much like for there to not be a blood moon, in fact. Well, this isn't going to be annoying at all, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking out, well, hopefully taking out Skeletron during a blood moon. Um... I would very much like for these normal guys to not be here. That would be lovely. So, let's see what we can do here, shall we? Let's make sure we actually have the balloon on as well. That would be a good idea. No, come on, man! I hate blood moons. Why is there not an NPC that allows me to cancel events? Oh, man, I'm so spoiled by modded. I am absolutely so spoiled by modded. I hate blood moons. I don't have an enchanted sundial to bypass it this sucks. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I would very much concede was a wasted Skeletron effort. Screw you, Skeletron, and screw you, Blood Moon. No one likes either of you. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of beyond caring about the NPCs. Right, what I need now is a bunch of dynamite because I need to go blow up some stone. I need to go blow up some mud. We need more mudstone, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, a full stack of 99. Is that enough? I'd say so. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want this. 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 I just want a nice peaceful episode where I'm working on my own things. I just want a nice one. A nice, easy episode. Come on, man, Terraria. You are really trying my patience here. What was I trying to do down in the corruption there? I was just trying to get a fishing quest done. It's as simple as that. There was a corruption fish that I needed to get capture. And Terraria decided instead that the RNG should go ahead and uh, spawn on me a zombie merman. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's great. Thanks, Terraria. Appreciate that, buddy. The one time where you give me rare stuff, and it's the time I don't want it. So, uh, yeah, great. All right, the good news is the Blood Moon is finally over. The bad news is it seems to be taking a fair while for us to capture ourselves the quest fish. We have literally got three purple clubber fish before we've gotten the quest fish. I have just realized since it is now daytime, the, uh, the, 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 the quest would have changed, right? So, yeah. All right, what have we got? Sky Lakes? Okay, easy money. You know what, my friends? Next time we take on Skeletron, we're just going to storm him with, like, OP stuff because I'm kind of done. I really am. <laughs> if you can't tell in my voice already, I'm kind of done. So as a result of being done, I am not going to go ahead and try and take on the Wall of Flesh in today's episode because honestly, I just feel like that's a terrible idea. Oh, it's just, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to push it, okay? I don't want to push it. Next episode will be the episode in which we try to take on the Wall of Flesh. But now, though, let's just try to get the Skeletron Master Mode drop, okay? I think that's going to be our episode end goal. If it takes any more than a few Terraria Knights, then, yeah, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be kind of annoyed. In my opinion... What should happen, considering that Skeletron is a little bit more annoying to summoning compared to all of the rest of the uh, bosses in this game, you literally have to wait for an NPC to come in and then use a voodoo doll on him. Yeah, 
I think that the master mode drop rate should be buffed significantly for Skeletron. I feel like it should be 50%, not 25% as it currently stands. If we don't get an accessory here, I'm going to be annoyed. Uh, oh. Ah, yep. Already got the angler earring there, buddy. I think, to be honest with you guys, a lot of my rage is at myself. And there's a little bit towards Terraria as a game as well. Because of it giving me a blood moon during that last Skeletron attempt. But uh, a lot of it is just me. I'm just annoyed at myself that I am unable to get what would otherwise be considered a pretty simple thing done. Taking out Skeletron with Slimies. We've done it. So, we should be able to consistently do it. Alright, let's get ourselves a whole bunch of mud. At least what we can do is blow the ever-living poop up out of our world. Because, yeah, it deserves it. It deserves it. For going ahead and giving me blood moons when I'm trying to take on bosses with a fun little loadout. Or what I would consider to be a fun loadout. Yeah. Throwing a blood moon at me is not okay. All right, Terraria, I'm saying it now. It's not okay. Well, I guess the good news about going ahead and blowing up an absolute crap ton of stone is the fact that we are inadvertently making a ginormous area here underground. And we could totally use it to farm mobs when it comes to hard mode. Like, for example, if we had ourselves a bunch of pearl stone, for example, this could be a hallowed farming area. We could also make it into a corruption farming area, a crimson farming area. So a lot of you guys were probably wondering about the vampire frog stuff let's go ahead and give it a bit of a go uh, against skeletron i mean why not at this point why the heck not let's just give everything a go at this point oh yeah froggies are going in my friends they're absolutely going in come on focus on the hands but focus on the hands if you can and if you will that would be lovely here <laughs> oh sometimes i dash into the hands and it's uh Rather annoying, to say the very least, I must admit. All right, so here we are, starting to shoot out your scullies. Yeah, do whatever you need to do there, Skeletron. I am going to absolutely pummel your hand into the ground. There we are. All right, now we do the damage. Now we do the damage. Now we do the damage. Come on, froggies. Yeah. Yeah. The froggies are definitely very, very powerful. Certainly more powerful than the uh, power the slimies give me. It has to be said. I mean, that's needless to say, isn't it? I mean, it's got literally 50% more base damage. All right, there we are, and there we have it. We've got it. The Possessed Ghoul. Skeletron is done. I'm never going for that butthole again, unless we go for some weird loadout in a future episode, I guess. For now, though, I am all Skeletroned out. Oh, cool. We've got the uh, Skeletron hand here. Huh, cool. Kind of like that. <laughs> Only shoots out twice, but it does appear to shoot out further than the web slinger, I think. So yeah, do you know what? We are going to go with the Skeletron hand hook. Why not? Whoa, from the first few bits of silt there, I got seven gold coins. That's not too bad, guys. That's not too bad, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, well, two stacks of mudstone did the job before, so I am hoping that it is going to do the job this time again. So, back down to the underworld, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to finish off this underworld bridge. I'm very, very excited to get it done. So... Let's get it done. To be honest with you guys, after doing a little bit more thinking, I feel like there should be an easier way to summon in Skeletron. And also even the Wall of Flesh for that matter as well. In modded, you can make like the fleshy doll. And there's some other summon item you can get as well that just allows you to flat out spawn in Skeletron without having to kill the cloth here. So yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like there should be an alternate way of summoning in the Wall of Flesh and Skeletron. Because as it stands currently, they have have to be the most annoying bosses to go ahead and grind out for any drops that you may be wanting to try to get for the simple fact that they really are just a pain in the butt to spawn in. Whether or not we would see anything in one of the 1.4 sub updates in future to sort of, I don't know, make it a little bit easier uh, is another matter. I certainly hope so, but I don't know. We, we'll see. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. And ladies and gentlemen, after quite a considerable amount 
of time, we are finally done. Around two stacks further, mudstone has been used, and we now have an entirely covered underworld. As you can see, there are absolutely no exposed lava lakes in the underworld, and that is going to give us our best shot of taking down the wall of flesh with nothing but a squishy army. Oh my goodness, like literally all the way along. It goes all the way to the edge of the world, man. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, nice. Check it out. We actually got a Skeletron trophy as well. Hey, eh? not too bad. Not too bad. So there we are, my friendos. We have got just about every single master mode drop so far from pre-hard mode. The King Slime, the Eye of Cthulhu, the Eater of Worlds, the Tier 1 Old Ones Army. We also have ourselves here, of course, the Queen Bee and Skeletron. So what we are missing is, what, the Brain of Cthulhu master mode drop and obviously the Wall of Flesh one as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to wrap up the episode. So we do, of course, have the comment of the day, though. Mazgan25 says, how about getting every item in the game? Like having a museum with chests because you won't have enough room for item frames. I'm going to have to go ahead and flat out say no to that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. But uh, that is way, way too much of a grindy, annoying goal to go for. There are so many items, literally thousands of items in Terraria. To be able to collect all of them, it's a ridiculous goal, frankly. If anyone's ever managed to actually do it, then fair play to them. But that's... I'm sorry. That's not going to be something I do, buddy. It's a nice idea. It's a nice concept. But I'm just not going to do that one. We already have our 10 goals. Our series goals for this entire Let's Play here, my friends. And I am continuing to focus on those. Nothing is going to be added to it. Nothing is going to be removed from it. We are going to continue with the 10 goals that we have for this series that I showed you on the first episode. So, for now then, my friends, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, despite my sort of raginess a little bit please do be sure of course to drop a like i'd very much appreciate it hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content but for now thanks for watching have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode Bye bye <laughs>